going on, Wines? Kenny. What's up, bud? I'm doing real good. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's all good. Uh, again, for those who are just joining us, we are now live with Wine Dumpson, lead singer of Wookie of the Year. Uh, as we continue our music spotlight month here on the show. Uh, Wine, why don't you go ahead, tell the listeners about yourself and how did your how did the music got started? How did Rookie of the Year got started? How did it get started? Um, Rookie got started. Um, let's see, I was just getting out of high school and I moved to Florida on a random notion to join a band, and um, I started it. I guess right then. I dated a girl the whole time through high school and we broke up and then I wanted to write all these sad songs. So I started a band so I could make that happen. Who came up with the name of the band, uh, Wookie at the Year, and where did it came from? Um, the, the name of the band came from, at that time, remember, remember Drive Thru Records? It was like a big, like, pop punk label or whatever, and I was at that time in my life, I wanted to sign to that label, which I actually ended up getting a um, interest from them. But at the time, they finally sent something I was already signed to another label. But um, I wanted to sign to them, so I thought Rookie of the Year would be kind of like a catchy name since they already had like bands like The Starting Line, Early November. I thought Rookie of the Year would fit in cool. I don't know. But it's not from the movie. It's actually not from the movie. All right. Um... How, what would be the best way to describe the band's music? People will obviously say rock music, that's what you guys do. But how would you best describe Wookiee we'll at the Year's music? Um, I would say it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, like pop, pop rock, I guess, mixed with like a lot of acoustic influence mixed with it. Um, uh, I guess, I don't know. Rookie has its own sound from everybody else. It's a different situation. I don't think there's any other band out there that sounds like Rookie. Who do you consider as your influences in music? Um, let's see. Um, I grew up listening to Copeland. Copeland was one of my favorite bands growing up. Um, who else did I listen to? Uh, Explosions in the Sky, American Football. Um, a lot of late 90s bands. That's when I first started getting into music, so like all that stuff was like pretty important to me. Again, we are, I am joined with Ryan Dumson, lead singer of Wookie of the Year here on Chilling with Jeff and Kenny C, part of Music Spotlight Month. Um, now, do you guys have any new music in the works? Well, we, I put out an acoustic EP called Along for the Ride EP, and it's on iTunes. It's uh, seven songs. Um, put that out two months ago, and then um, coming up uh, in three weeks from now, I'm doing a full, not full U.S., but like a tour, I guess, a month tour. Uh, I'm supporting that, and I'm playing that record from front to back. So that's kind of exciting. Um... I recorded a new song called Forever that should be coming out probably right when that tour starts um, just to get that tour more hyped up. Um, releasing a new song that I did not too long ago. And um, after that, I'm going to go into the studio probably for about a month and a half um, and record uh, the new rookie record. Talk about uh, talk about the tour, and um, I know y'all gonna be at the North Carolina. Um, are y'all currently on this tour right now, or, or are y'all just getting everything set up? Uh, all the, all the dates are posted. Um, we come to North Carolina. Um, before that tour, I'm going out with the Rocket Summer for a few days. Not that many; it's only like three dates. But um, and then as soon as that's done, I'll be out on the um, on the. Um, along for the ride tour and it, I, there's like so many bands on it there's like Young Bloods, Mechanical Kids um, Aaron Woods Mikey Hines City Under Siege 
um, Sunday night scene. There's, a, there's there's lots and lots of bands on it, so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. And they're all bands I've toured with and are already friends with, so it's kind of exciting. Have a bunch of people that you're friends with come on the road with you. All right, so um, let me ask you this, Ryan. What's your thoughts on rock music these days? What's your thoughts about the sounds, the blends, the the band names, and everything else in uh, general? What's your take on rock music today? Well, like what what's popular right now? Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on the mainstream, the rock music out there? Um, I I hate Pitbull. <laughs> I think it's so bad, like anybody can do what he's doing. But you have a Kodak. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, um, I, I still love Coldplay, I think they're doing a great job. Um, uh, M83 is the, my, one of my favorite bands for for probably seven years, six years. Uh, my old drummer, Mick, showed me that band. Um, and I, I've loved them for a long time, and now they're starting to get huge on the radio now, so that's kind of cool. Um, I like Naked and Famous a lot. That band's great. Um, what's that band, Temper Trap or whatever? They're really good. Um, uh, Silver Sun Pickups, I like them a lot, too. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really like rap a lot. I do like Yellow Wolf, his first record. Um... What else is out there? What's the, what's the news? I hate Black Eyed Peas. Mm. Um, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I don't know. I like what's what's the guy's name? He's actually in that Pitbull song. Um, in that song tonight. Uh, that would be Neo. Neo, I I think he's great. He that guy has an amazing voice. Yeah, he's uh, definitely talented, and uh, and he writes his own songs. Not a whole lot of artists can say that these days. So yeah, and he writes a lot of songs for other ba other people too. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then and from my hometown in Fayetteville, um, J Cole is getting huge, and I've hung out with him a bunch of times. And so that's really cool that, that he's getting like noticed and he's on Jay Z's label and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I, I'm from a really small town in North Carolina, so it's always cool when there's um, another music act or rap act, or whatever. Just anything to come out of this town is pretty awesome. And it's cool that he's doing really well right now. Speaking of white music, as far as Wookiee of the Year is concerned, um, do y'all white music based on experiences that involves the band or their own personal experience? Uh, when it comes to writing songs, does it based on personal experiences? Um, I, I've written songs about my personal experiences. I've had friends go through problems, and I've written a song about their situation, and it sounds like it's coming from my view. Um, I've even, I've even uh, made up like stories, <laughs> just kind of like. Like if this happened to me, how you know how would it go? And I just write a song about it. Um, but most, most for the most part, they're from things that happen. Uh, that's kind of how you're. You know, you have a feeling and you want to put it on paper and and strings. So you just kind of sit there till you finally get that vibe of how you feel, and then you just start writing. Now, obviously, you all can listen to Rookie of the Year's music on iTunes, um, but other than that, Ryan, how can people learn more info about the band? You have a obviously you got a Facebook link and a Twitter link, so go ahead and promote your Twitter, links. Facebook, MySpace. Um, Hot Topic carries the most beautiful record, which is the last record before the Kizuki um, All Hot Topics have it. Um, if you want the older records, uh, The Goodnight Moon and Sweet Tension, they're still in Best Buys. Um, and if they don't have it there, you can order it there. Um, or, you know, it's the fastest way is just iTunes. Or just come out to a show, because I sell all my CDs for five bucks. So it's, like, super cheap. Um, I, that's probably the best way to come to a show and buy a CD. So, yeah, um, and they can follow you on Twitter, at WineWookie. And, of course, like the fan page of Wookie of the Year. Just search Wookie of the Year. 
uh, and for more info on the band, the music, and the tour, and everything else they have uh, coming out. Now, uh, Wine, uh, my last thing, my last thing I want to ask you, the last thing I want to ask you is, of course, my show, this show right here, Chilling with Jeff and C. Not only are we a talk station, but we're a 24/7 music station. And I got the uh, email you sent me a couple of hours ago, and I will be happy to add Wookie of the Year's music onto the music station. That's okay with you. Yeah, it's great. And uh, not to mention uh, another place that we are on ITMI Radio. Uh, we pretty much play music from anybody, so uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to add. Uh, your music into their station as well um, and again I'm joined with Wine Dunson, lead singer of Wookie of the Year right here on Chilling with Jaffa Kenny C part of Music Spotlight Month Wine before I let you go before we end this interview I ask all guests to do this like a station ID's like a voice drop all you have to do is say your name what after you say your name you say you are Chilling with Jaffa Kenny C Hey, this is Ryan Dunson from Rookie of the Year, and you're chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. Perfect. And again, you can listen to Rookie of the Year's music on iTunes and MySpace and Facebook everywhere. You can listen to the band's music everywhere. Um, now, of course, we're in the middle of March Madness. Uh, are you rooting for North Carolina to go all the way? <laughs> I, that'd be awesome. I was rooting for NC State, but they lost yesterday. Ah, uh, well... Still got North Carolina, uh, so I, I, I hate I hate Duke, even though I live on Duke campus. But um, <laughs> well, lucky yeah, for you, they got eliminated we'll, in the first we'll see round. Look, Ohio look. State just won like two minutes ago. Yeah, they uh they beat the uh, Syracuse. Uh, yep. And a uh, Duke, they got eliminated in the first round. That's embarrassing. Yeah, they got yeah they got taken out fast, right? By Lehigh of all people. Who heard of Lehigh before this tournament <laughs> started? Know, they were the they were the big Cinderella story of of the they situation, were, but they they lost too. Yeah, they were a 15th seed. Uh, that again, that's yeah. embarrassing. Just the mid school going out there and beating Duke like that. That's just <laughs> Coach K's got to be shaking his head. Let's just put it that way. Uh, yeah, he was bummed out if you if you watched his um his press conference. He, he, after it. yeah, that was that was horrible. I felt so bad for him. I mean, if you're an anti-Duke fan, you shouldn't feel bad for him, so, you know. Well, it's Coach K, though. Everybody likes Coach K. Yeah, Coach K, yeah, he's a nice guy, but the players they get, <clears throat> talking about they better than everybody, you know. You know. And yeah, I'm they, got Kentucky... River, they, got, they got River's son. He's, he, he was doing really good, actually. Yeah, he just um, announced that he's going to go pro, so we'll see how he fares. Maybe he'll be with his father, you know. We'll, we'll shall go see. Play, go play from Boston? Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. You know, they may think about let go of Wando. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right, Juan, we're going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you for joining us. Best of success to you and the band going forward. Um, you have a good night. Stay safe on the Thanks, tunnel, buddy. man. Appreciate it, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. That was Juan Dumpson of... We'll get the year.